Rideau Valley recently approved a plan for 4.2 square miles of logistics, warehouse, and distribution centers. If Merino Valley, along with the March Joint Powers Authority, want to embrace this type of industry, why does Riverside need to continue to approve large warehouses in our city as they have done recently? Well, I would not say we're approving all warehouses as we've done recently. We have approved one. Um, actually, we've, we've approved two, I think, in the last couple of years. Uh, I don't see this as something that's going to start a trend. I don't see this as something that's going to go across the city. Uh, it doesn't mean if we have open space that a warehouse is going to go there. The, the most recent one that was approved is out there with probably four or five others. Uh, it met the, the proper permitting. Um, there were uh, different I'm sorry, um, studies that were, were done that were completed. Thank you. I would have voted against the Sycamore, uh, Sycamore project. Uh, it's it's a spec project that offers really no concrete jobs and even warehousing jobs are either uh, low wages or easily automated. So we need to make sure that we're creating other projects in our community. Also, the community, the community groups uh, that live and work in that area talk to their city council members and all of those city council members voted against the project. Uh, we're, we're falling down a slippery slope here. If when a community group that's engaged and makes sure they provide evidence as to what kind of projects they want to see in their community are, are being heard by their council member and then a council member from another part of town decides what's best for them. 